Hello everyone, it's me ASM Arif welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and I have today uh, the stock image today I'll download that this one from the freepick.com and I'll edit in front of you so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications press ctrl or command J so at first we have to analyze the face face is good but we'll do something uh, like smooth in future so here at first press ctrl J and J this one is the main and this one is the blur and this one is the sharp okay that's good main okay fine turning off the sharp select the blur go to the filter and blur option and gaussian blur option from here making this one a little bit blur okay 8.5 is good for me and hit okay and now going to this one sharp options going to these to the hard light and then going to the filter other and high pass so make this one a little bit like smoother not too much so i think this one is good and hit okay now select these two things making it group and making this one mask and ctrl command i for the inverse or reverse mask now you can brush it up and you'll get the smooth skin over here so this one is the black mask and now you should keep it the white portion and just select once you'll get the smooth skin so before and after if i look it closely before and after okay that's good now we'll just select this one going to the just making it group and making it smart object so convert to smart up now we'll edit in the camera filter going to the filter camera filter so this camera filter is another plugins if you want to get the download link please check out my video description from here in the basic panels i'll make it a little bit warm and tint like this exposure a little bit up and contrast the highlight a little bit down add some shadow like this yeah that's fine the whites a little bit up the texture okay clarity okay vibrance i'll make it a little bit like this the desaturated little bit not too much saturation down and the vibrance up that's good in this portion contrast up that's good and now going to the curves options from here the lock up here here making this one like this like this actually not too much okay that's fine and here i'll add some shadow that's good and now going to detail option add some sharpening noise reduction and color noise reduction so let's see the before and after that's good and now going to the color grading at first in the shadow portion i'll select the color from this color palette so I want to make this a little bit uh, cinematic okay 206 and the saturation 15 the mid tone I'll make this one into yellow ah, that's good and make the balance from here blending from here and here that's good and the highlights I'll make the highlights like this so before and after you're getting the change from there and the color mixture here the hue saturation luminance hue which color will be in the greenery i'll change the greenery like this and here the saturation will make the saturation down like that and here the red portion and the luminance intensity of the color on orange luminance i'll increase and the red as well increase the saturation of the red before and after you change you are getting over there from the adjustment uh, i'll go to the calibration from here I'll add the red primary color like this, a little bit red type. Yeah. Minus 15. Saturation okay. And green primary. So making this one plus 12 and green minus. The hue of the blue primary. If I make this or this. So I'll keep this one like that and making this to 8 or 9 before and after hues change over there now going to the basic options adding another shadow like this so before and after and 
I'm saving this one and I'll provide you that preset for you guys and giving the name outdoor. And hit the OK button. So after adding the filter, you are getting the before and after like this. And here I want to add the lights from there, adding like new layer. Going to the brush options and going to here, pick the color from here. The light will be like this, little bit yellowish, and hit OK. Going to the brush options, make the brush opacity 100%. Select once, press Ctrl command D, make this one bigger like this. Or you can make it a little bit smaller. Change it like this. And making it skin. Press Ctrl command T. And I'll place it up in this portion. So upper side of the photo okay yeah that's good now I'm going to the labels options and from here I'll adjust the lights and other stuffs yeah let's see the before and after huge change you're getting and saving it out saving this one okay so this one is a technique to edit outdoor type photographs Hope that you learn a lot from this video. If you did, please thumbs up and share with your friend. Stay safe, stay at home, keep me in your prayers. Bye bye.